it's been a while since we've gotten to talk about an Alfonso Cuaron movie here on the channel. And so we're going to have the Gravity talk. Now, before we talk about the movie, I want to talk about something that happened. All right, so you can clearly see this is the Blu-ray 3D. I don't have a Blu-ray 3D player, but it doesn't matter. I bought this so I could watch it on Blu-ray. Now, when I got this, the DVD was placed right here, and then the Blu-ray 3D was put on top of the Blu-ray disc. This one has one of those longer things. Apparently, I forgot about that, and I accidentally picked this one without thinking. So I didn't even get to watch Gravity on Blu-ray. I watched it on DVD. And, and let me tell you, the realization was crazy. Because after I realized it, I, it all made sense. Like, why the picture looked a bit strange, and why there was like no behind-the-scenes featurettes. Oh, yeah, that, I was pretty much mad at myself, but you know what, I've just, I've kind of gotten to feel like, you know what, it's fine, it's happened, I'm, I'm going to be going to pay attention more whenever I buy something that has that kind of casing and placement, so. Alright, let's talk about the movie. First off. What I easily think is the best aspect of this film is its direction. Like, Quran just does, like, as usual, a fantastic job with his directing style. And those long takes. Those long takes of just... Like, for example, the one where we follow Clooney, we go up, look at, like, the Earth, then back to Clooney on a different side. Or like the shots of like the sun rising or setting from space. Like holy cow. Quaron uh, <laughs> and Emmanuel Levinsky are just an unstoppable force. Their direction in cinematography is, is truly something. Sandra Bullock and George Clooney also really gave off some really good performances. Like, Bullock, towards the end, like, she did such a great job. And, like, that moment where she finally is, like, alone in the kind of little space thing. And she gets to, like, spin, spin. And it, it's such another good moment. Direction's great. Cinematography is great. I love the score. Had some really good performances. Should be a perfect movie. Except it isn't. My biggest problem that I have with Gravity is putting spectacle first and characterization second. Like, don't get me wrong, the spectacle and scope of this film is incredible. Like, one of Quaron's best in terms of scope and scale. But, to me, the characterization felt pretty lacking in here. Like, this one was just put off, and put off on the sideline. And, yeah, I just wasn't really a fan of, like, the kind of characterization. Or, I mean, there were some, like, some characterization in, included, but I don't know. They That's the kind of vibe that I get. I know some people will say that there is characterization. Maybe I just haven't looked too deep into it. Maybe I didn't notice it. I don't know. I just felt like I didn't get to like like the weight like I, I didn't really feel like I get to know I got to know these characters well, and that's something I want in a movie. I really want to like know more about these characters. What really makes them tick? 
but yeah, um, Gravity is pretty good. Obviously, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it Pornon's best. I think Children of Men and Prisoner of Azkaban are really like his best works, but um, at least Gravity wasn't bad. <laughs>